You betcha we're live, we're live, we're live. Yeah, we're coming, we're back. It's part two. It's been a few days. I'm sorry. We had a lot of, we had, it was busy. We had a busy few days there. Um, it's Larry. And we're going to uh, pick up where we left off with uh, Kingdoms, New Land. Kingdom, New Lands. Kingdom, New Lands. I kept calling it Kingdoms. I don't know why. Or it, it is, isn't, I think the sequel is Kingdoms, New Crown, uh, Two Crowns. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're doing Kingdom, New Lands. And if you remember right, we just landed on Island three um see so it's day one as you can see in the upper right corner there and uh let's, let's give you a quick look see of the uh a minute wait a minute why isn't it yeah all right um my controller was just sort of screwed for a second there yeah so we uh we settled land one island one we built our ship we moved on to island two we built our ship and now we moved on to island three and we're gonna see what we see here we've made it through the first day this is the first night on island three i had no idea what we were going to do though i had no idea what the strategy was and i don't remember where anything is on this island if we actually did venture out i don't think we did though oh and we have one night with us did we get a second night with us oh we did we got a second night look at that all right so we have two nights here on island three and, uh, and we're going to just clear some trees and expand just like we did on Islands 1 and Island 2. I will tell oh gosh, this horse has gotten tired. What I need is to upgrade my steed. And I believe I can do that here on Island 3. I can get a new mount. And it's time. You know, sometimes we all need a new mount, don't we? So we're going to, uh, we're going to get that. We're going to get a new mount as soon as we get some coinage here from these guys. We're going to go out and see what kind of mount we can do. You want to upgrade your your ride for various reasons. We'll recruit a couple more guys. I think we already set up some archers, if I remember right. And, oh, I guess we already went this way because we've got some recruits coming by. So we did explore a little bit this way. Did we go all the way to the end? Well, if we did, we're just going to have to go again because I can't remember what was here. What you want to do when you first arrive on an island is you want to go as far as you can on either side to sort of see the lay of the land and find out what you've got. Um, okay, we've got our signpost here. It looks like we already got the map technology. I feel awful. I cannot remember what I did a few days ago. I should have gone back and watched the video. If, if only I had recorded it for posterity so that anyone could just click on the video and see. Anyway, not so much. I hope you're enjoying these playthroughs, by the way. I'm enjoying doing it. Yes, we are already talking about what other games we can play. That are a little more advanced, things like Skyrim, things like uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, um, things like Dragon Age, and yeah, I've already made it all the way over here, haven't I? And I just wasted another day. That's all right. We'll get our mount on the east side of the island coming up next. All right, so the so the mountain is over here, and we've got several portals to have to deal with. We've got more recruits today, and that's a good thing. What other games would you guys like me to play? Um, Divinity Original Sin is uh, one that my brother-in-law has been asking me to play and want me to play. We've had it on the Xbox. I tried to play it, and I, I think I got, like, uh, I got like 10 hours into it, and I sort of lost interest. I'm told that's a fun multiplayer game, and maybe that's something we should do as a multiplayer or something as we uh, move forward. But a lot has happened since we last spoke, right? What was, if I remember, what, what was the last day we played? Was it Saturday? And uh, Michigan won the Big Ten Championship. I'm not wearing my Michigan shirt. Today. I'm wearing my Five for Fighting sweatshirt. Five for Fighting. John Andrasik is a friend and a great musician. Got me this hoodie, this sweatshirt. What else is happening? I guess I guess when we last spoke, if it was, in fact, uh, Saturday, it means that we already had the Elon Musk Twitter dump. Right? Friday night. That was that was something. And today uh, that we're uh, doing this live stream, as you can see from the date, is Tuesday the 6th, which is the day of the Georgia runoff there, if you follow politics, which I do for a living. So uh, maybe, maybe we'll get the results of that race tonight. And, or maybe not. I have a hunch we won't, actually. I think it's going to go till tomorrow. I think it's going to be another one of those close 
maddeningly close races that will take forever. I'm going to go ahead and build up my stone walls here. Get that going. The faster you can build up, the higher technology is better. There's our, uh, our shipwreck. And I guess... Let me get, uh, I, need, I need to get more gold, and I need to uh, get my mount. So let's see, I think there should be some chests of gold further in this island. Or is there not? I feel like it's such a moron that I didn't check to see what we had done yesterday. Because I have a hunch that we've actually checked out everything on this island, and we've already learned that there isn't a mount. And if that's the case, I will in fact feel like... No, we haven't gone this far, because here's a, here's a chest of gold, as predicted. All right, so we haven't made it all the way to the end here, to the dock. So let's see if we have a mount here. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're going to make it to the dock. So that's it. Really nothing to do on this island, except get off it. So let's do that. Let's scout out an area where we could build a farm if we want to build farmers. But again, my strategy on this game, especially new lands, is that your hunters are a lot more valuable than your farmers. Now, things change in two crowns for sure, especially if you're doing a, uh, a speed run. But here in new lands, this version of the game, sometimes farmers can just be a waste of money. Because it costs a lot. You know, you got four coins per scythe, plus you got to do, let's see, eight, nine, ten, eleven coins to build the farm itself. They only harvest once a day, and yes, they give you a good plow of gold, but you got to build walls up to protect the farms, and, uh, oof, let's get our archery god going here. And uh, ultimately, look at the yield you get from your hunters. Well, usually. Here, let's try this guy. There you go. I mean, look at that. That's more gold than you get from a farmer. There is a stream there. So theoretically, I could build a farm right there. And then I need an outer mountain. And I guess, I guess the outer wall, this would be my outer wall if we built a farm there. Right? And then I'd have to clear more hunting ground here, which I could. How close does that bring us to the portal? Yeah, I mean, I could I could build a farm there. Again, I just I feel like I'm better off. It only costs you two coins for a archer. And the archer protects you and he hunts for you. And he doesn't need a house. He doesn't need a, you know, you gotta build a, eleven coins for your barn for the farm. And four coins per guy for the site. Look at these guys were a one coin investment to recruit them and then a two coin investment for their bow and arrow. And look at all the money they just uh, made me. So, I, yeah, I'm just going to stick in with my strategy. I've already shown, you know, I, th there's no reason to like deal with the educational aspect of this playthrough. You already know how to build a farm and why you build a farm. And I don't think you, it, you know, it is. It, If, if you want to play the game, that's the thing. You can you can build the kingdom however you want to build your kingdom. And if you want to make sure you have farms in all your kingdoms, God bless you, go make your farms. Me, as for me, I shall hire people to kill rabbits and deer and then protect the walls of my kingdom. And that's all I need. Dang it, that's all I need. All right, so these, these hunters are going to go out hunting for me. And in the meantime, I'm going to start building my ship so we can get off the island. Honestly, that's the, when there's nothing else to get on the island, these guys got destroyed. Those were those were uh, recruits that I had just gotten. When, uh, when there's nothing else to unlock on an island, as, as we have just done, we have just unlocked everything we need to unlock on this island, then the only other thing to do is to get out. Now, I could start destroying portals, okay? I could start killing these portals as we did in the other... And we do need to destroy the portals on the east side, right? So we can... So we can get our ship out of there. Well, you know what? You know what I'll do? I'll show you what happens. 
No, I shouldn't do that. This. I was going to say, I'll show you what happens if you don't destroy the portal and you just send the ship without destroying the portals on one side, but that's... that's a, well, I, you know what? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's do that. And we'll, we'll do that as, a, as an experiment today. I just wanted to come out here and feed the uh, feed the builder god, as it were, so we can protect our walls a little bit more. See, my horse keeps getting tired. I wanna, I wanna unleash. Oh, look at see, he's empty. I wanna unleash more, more. Um, see, that's an expensive god there. That took me all eight of my coins. Yikes. That's a part of the game that's um, hard to manage. You got to constantly be going back and forth to all of the little shrines there, and giving your tribute to the gods to keep the uh, extra protection or extra skills that it gives you. And, and it's not always easy, especially as the island gets bigger and there's uh, more skills to enhance. See, right now we've only got um, see the builder god and the archery god. There's also a farmer god that upgrades your, um, the yield you get from the farms. But, ha ha ha, since I'm not building any farms from this point forward, I am not going to be needing that. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble if a greed comes out of there. Oh, and there's a greed, I gotta get out of here. Because I don't have any coins, and if he hits me, I lose my crown. Graze quickly, quickly, graze, eat horse, eat. Oh God, oh God. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's way too close. If that guy gets me, I am done. I lose my crown. All right, get out of here. You don't like to be wandering around toward dusk without any gold in your coin or in your uh, bag. Oh, these guys have no gold for me. All right, I'm going to have to expand this side because I'm getting no hunting. What did my hunters do over on the other side? Let's see. Looks like all my hunting is happening over here. I don't think I need any more recruits, though. There you go. See, look at all that gold they make you. Yeah, who needs farms? Come on. Look at that. Look at all that gold. That's a yield, baby, a yield. So I just need to keep feeding this god. And I've got recruits right here, right? Oh, no, I don't. That's that's the still mason. All right. So the question is, do I want to expand my farm on the, or the uh, kingdom on the other side so I can get more hunting grounds? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. I'm going to add a knight right here. And I'm going to add more archers. So I can get more hunting done. I had a lot of recruits sitting there without any jobs, as you see. I love the sound. I love the sound. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead. Well, it's so nice to have recruiting right here, though. All right, let's see what's happening further out here on this side. Because one thing I could do is build a wall. Yeah, you know what I'm going to Here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you how you can expand your kingdom and get more hunting grounds without losing that important recruiting camp that's right there. See, I'm gonna start building right out here. I'm gonna keep that recruiting camp inside the walls of my kingdom. See, you don't have to just keep, you know, clear cutting forests from your walls out. See, see how, you know, normally you would think, oh, okay, well, I just gotta start by knocking down this tree and just keep clearing right through this recruitment camp. Well, no, having this recruitment camp so close to your your uh, inner kingdom is so valuable because you can just every single day you get two or three guys there that can join your forces. So I'm clearing out from here, from outside in now. See, the portal is still okay. So the portal's right there. So I can clear these trees and I can expand my kingdom and my hunting ground without losing that recruiting camp and i'll show you how to do it so we can keep our little vagrants living off the land see i'm just going to keep pulling this mound right here that's going to be my new outer wall and 
Yes, there's a farm right there, but if I can just increase my hunting and keep that recruiting camp, that's better than spending all the money and getting whatever limited coinage you get from a farm. I assure you. Because uh, manpower is important. Manpower in this game equals cash flow. And as I have said before to you, cash flow is king in this game. So uh, I love these little guys. I love the little animation. I love their, look at them, they're all going to come over now. And they would, after they chopped down a tree, they wiped their sweaty brow. The little workers, the little overalls. Just wait till you see this, the future skins on this game. The uh, Japanese version is very cool too. So, which is the same game. They just changed the design aspect of it. And the, the trees and the animals change too in the, in the different iterations. Um, the Japanese version and the uh, the Nordic version, Scandinavian version. All right, let's see if, you know what, the sun's coming down. I don't know if I want to build my outer wall quite yet, but you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it because I like living dangerously in this game. Oh, sounds like we got a blood moon coming too. Maybe, I, maybe I'm living a little too dangerously. Let's see, I don't think our attacks are that bad quite yet. So if we just have a wood fence there i think we'll be okay but see now all of this i have just opened this up as my new hunting ground and i can even expand my trees a little bit further oh i don't think we've got an attack coming from this side the attack's coming from the other side so my my risk worked out my uh my gamble worked out i can go ahead and build this up as a as a stone fence my blood moon attack is coming from the other side and I, i'm guessing i'm okay over here but I'll just check it out. See, here's the thing. I don't actually need to be there, but I'd like to see what happens, don't you? The attack is coming whether I'm there or not. Look at, uh, look at all that gold they got for me last night. You gotta love that. All right, so this is the Blood Moon attack on the east side. Not bad. Now we have the wide open space. We've got our recruiting camp. And then over here, we've got our, our, our outer wall on the west side. So we got a lot of space to work with. All right, so now I'm gonna try to clear out these trees as far as I can. You don't want it to go too close to the portal, but I just wanna expand my hunting grounds as far as I can. And then what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna start attacking Oh, well, I said I was going to build the ship and I was going to show you what happens when you send the ship before clearing the portals. And when I say I'm going to show you how to do that, I'm going to show you how to do that because I've actually forgotten what happens when you do this. I'm curious what happens. So um, tell you what, we're going to do, let's send some... Uh, Send some trebuchets. And we're gonna get a couple more builders because of the trebuchet. Trebuchets take two builders off of other projects. Um, they just sort of sit there. They do they do come and lend a hand to building things, but for the most part they're assigned to their trebuchets. So I wanted to go add some more builders. And I'm gonna keep my archery god fed because that's all I got for income is hunting. I've got no farmers, as you know, this is my strategy. And so I want to make sure that they're getting peak efficiency with their arrows. Um, and yes, I could expand even further here, but you don't, it's, it, it's, it's certain at a certain point you get diminishing returns by having your hunters go too far away from your inner uh, kingdom. because they need to run back at sundown to get behind the wall so they don't get attacked by the greed. And they're not smart enough, at least in Kingdom New Lands, which is what we're playing here. Um, they're not smart enough to run back 
and avoid getting killed by the greed. So we just, we will just keep from expanding too far. Uh, let's recruit a couple of more and then we'll start building that ship. And then we'll send it tomorrow. We should be able to complete that ship, I would think, with the way the cash flow. See, see now these hunters, remember how the hunters before, when our wall was the original wall by the kingdom there, uh, and not on the other side of the recruitment camp, those um, those hunters were not yielding as much gold at all for me. Did you see just how they, they just gave me half a, half a bag of gold there. That's pretty amazing. So I'm feeling good about where we are here. Don't need to expand the wall here. Oh, and I'm overflowing. That's not good. All right, we just had a blood moon, so I don't think we're going to get attacked tonight. Right? We determined that, didn't we? That there is no attack after a blood moon? Doesn't look like it. I'm going to go ahead and start building this ship here. It should take another um, two bags of gold to build the ship. Uh, if you remembered on Island 1 and on, uh, on Island 1 and Island 2, when you first start to build the ship, a whole bunch of ship parts drop down from the sky. Uh, now on Island 3, 4, and 5, you got to pay for every single part. It costs a lot more gold to build your ship. So that's why I wanted to make sure I had enough hunters already going for me. All right, so let's track this now. We've got, an, and we're starting the day with an empty bag. Let's see how many bags of gold we get from the recruits, from the number of archers that we've got on both sides. They definitely have more hunting ground over on the east side there. Look at these guys are already still still hanging on to gold from last night that I had hadn't uh, collected. See, that's a half bag already, and it's still morning. Uh, there's a deer here. If I can scare this deer, there we go. Let's herd him back. Get my hunters to kill this deer. Can I scare him one more time? Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Nice. That was some fine deer herding you just saw. All right, so first part of the day, I get a half a bag of gold from the west side of the island. Let's go over to the east side of the island and see what I've got. Oh, I'll recruit this guy while I'm at it. Now, I should have more gold over here because they've got more space to work with. If you're wondering why those builders have gold, because builders only make you money if they're chopping down trees for you. What happens is as they're walking, if these hunters have killed a rabbit and there's a piece of gold that's just sitting there, the builders will pick it up. Um, now the builders can only keep a maximum of... Kill him! Ah, let's try that again. Builders can only keep a maximum of two coins that they pick up, but still. Okay, so there you go. It's not quite the end of the day, and I've already got an overflowing bag of gold. Uh, I should be able to get maybe one more if I can get over to the other side fast enough. Yeah, I don't think I will. see how much more gold these guys have. See, they've just been killing all these rabbits. Right? Yeah. So, up. Uh, let's get that one. All right. All right. So, they're going to be building. Hopefully, they'll be able to build enough before the greed comes. And then I'm going to come over to the west side, get the rest of the gold. Remember, I left the west side like right before, eh, it's probably 11 in the morning, where the sun was in the sky. Let's see how much 
gold. We got another half bag. So really this side of the island has collected um, a full bag of gold in one day, right? Because I had a half bag at the beginning of the day and then I just picked up at the end of the day, I picked up another half bag. So that's a full bag of gold. And pretty much the same over on this side. So each side is getting me a full bag of gold. Uh oh, it looks like it's time for lunch. Uh, we still got another, we'll go another 15 minutes here. I want to get off this island. So let me build my ship, get off the island, and I'm going to eat something. So that let you know what my plans are today. <laughs> let's see, did we, were we able to build? Yeah, we were able to build good. All right, let's finish the ship. It's very close as you can see. Uh, I need another, I need another maybe eight. Eight pieces. Pick that up quickly. One, two. Let's see how how well I estimated that. So it was two, four, six. I said I said eight more, about eight more pieces of gold, right? This will be scary if I actually get it. If, if I actually eyeballed that. That it was eight, then it's a sign that I gotta stop playing this game. Uh, six, seven, eight. Yep, that was... <laughs> all right. Maybe it's time to stop playing this game. If I could just look at the ship and know exactly how much more gold I need, that's a little frightening. All right, I don't like to leave the island unless I have a full bag of gold, so. Though I don't think we'll be leaving the island when I launch it. Well, let's see. Honestly, I swear to God, I cannot remember what happens when you... What's wrong with you? Why are you dead? Um, I can't remember what happens when you launch the ship before killing the portals. So this will be a fun experiment, and it'll be uh, the last thing we do in this video is what happens when you launch the ship without killing portals. Whatever happens, it's either going to take us off the island, I don't think that's what happens though, or um, everyone's going to die because the greed's going to come and get them, and then we'll uh, we'll pick this up on the next day. <laughs> All right, so let's... There's my half a bag of gold from this side. Let's go, uh, let's go over to the east side, get my other half a bag of gold, and we're going to send the ship on its way. I think we'll send it in the morning, give ourselves a fighting chance instead of actually sending the ship in the middle of a greed attack. All right, how are we doing over here, gentlemen? Ladies? Nice. Look at these hunters getting me on my gold. Beautiful. Any deer over here waiting? No. All right, so let's just graze. We'll wait for the morning. We'll launch the ship, and then we're all going to see what happens when we get to the first, first portal. This will be an educational experience. It's, it's a teachable moment, let's call it. Can we call it a teachable moment? Can we still do that? Let's call it a teachable moment. All right, top me off here. And I'm greedy. Let's go get some more gold from the other side. You got nothing else to do tonight. Just sitting around waiting for the greed to attack. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Good looking. Yeah, I'll get you guys later. I don't need you right now. All right. See, my instinct tells me that when they try to push the ship past the active portal, it's gonna, they're gonna get attacked. But let's see, let's see, this is, this is it. Let's see what happens. My full bag of gold. Everyone's gonna come running to get on the ship. It's day 10. And here we go. 
And now the slow walk of the ship toward the portal. It's times like this that you wish this wasn't just a full, uninterrupted, unedited live stream. I bet it's times like this that you wish I had done this earlier and then done a little editing. Not so much. It's all right. I mean, there's so much we can talk about as we take a leisurely stroll with our ship across the island. <laughs> Is it there? Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. I mean, I could send the knights. Oh, wait, I do have to send the knights, don't I? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta send the knights. I gotta send the knights, I forgot. So let's send the knights and let's see if that's what triggers the attack here. Oh, wait, where? Why? I, oh, I can't send the knights. Ooh. I can only send the knights when the ship gets to the dock. And I cannot send the knights to attack a portal. That ship has sailed, as it were. Okay, so, I mean... I mean, it is what it is, as I often say. So, uh... I'm not gonna lie. There's, uh... There's not a whole lot of action here. It's gonna take a while. I mean, there is an attack coming. And what's going to happen is, see, I've got three builders on the ground. That builder and then these two builders, even though they're very slow. And then I've got four archers here on the top. So theoretically, when the greed comes, uh, these archers will kill them, right? Before they hurt my builders. See, this is this is what's going to happen here. They're, if they destroy the builders, then I've got to go back and I've got to send the knights. If they don't destroy the builders, then they can just keep pushing the ship past the portal. Well, here we go. This, this will tell us. All right, archers are shooting at them. Nope, and now the builders are running away. Right. These guys are doing well. Nope, not well enough, though. Some of them got through. Oh, and there goes my builders. Okay. All right. And now, because the greed were running back with the hammers... These guys are coming back and getting their hammers. Wait, am I missing one? Oh, here comes the other builder. Okay, well, that was educational. Um, that doesn't tell us what happens when they actually go past the portal, though, which is exactly what we're going to see in a moment. So, I, I mean, I don't like where this is headed. Ultimately, I'm going to lose my builders. And then I'm going to have to... And then I might be in no man's land. See, this was a bad idea. This experiment that we're doing is a bad idea. But this is how you learn a game, I suppose. Um, because what's going to happen is... I'm going to lose my builders, and then the ship is just going to be hanging there. When I try to send the knights to go kill the portal, I won't be able to because... I, as you saw, I can't send the knights anywhere until the ship's at the dock. So I might be just stuck in no man's land here. This might, I may have broken the game. I may have actually broken the game. Let's see what happens. We're going to get to the portal. What happens when you send the ship without destroying the portals? That's what we're going to find out. Hmm. 
Now, I think these archers might be triggered. When they get past the portal, they might start shooting at it. Because you've seen how the archers have been shooting at the deer and stuff as they go by. They might start attacking the portal as we go by here. Let's see what they do. I'm going to stay back here. Oh, yeah, they are. Here we go. They're going to start shooting at the portal. But I don't think they're going to have the firepower to destroy the portal. Builders got scared, so they're staying back here. Oh, man, this might be a. I, I may have discovered a brilliant new strategy. Oh, the problem is the retaliation is going to come. Oh God! When they destroy the portal, they're going to get retaliated. Oh no. Which side is it going to come from? Where are my builders? Come, up, come back here, you wusses. Oh, no. All right. Keep, keep shooting. It's fascinating. Watching me break the game is fascinating. I have no idea what happened. So just so you know, this is not unlike a strategy that I use when I do speed runs in Kingdom 2 Crowns. But in that case, you can actually bring the knights with you and plow through and destroy. You're not bringing a ship. I'll, I'll explain when we get to the Kingdom of Crowns. So I'm going to come out here and see where, because, you know, after you def destroy a uh, a portal, you get a retail. Oh, here they come. Oh, God. And my horse is exhausted. Oh, no. All right. So they're coming. This is going to get ugly. I need to, I need to get out of here. And these builders are history, because this is going to be a large, large attack. These builders are going to get destroyed. I should stay and watch. Just, I should watch the slaughter. Yeah, here they come. Oh, God. Yeah, run away, dude. Run away. Well, let's see how far they get. This poor little hammer just left here. All right, that's a good, that's a good stopping point. All right. So let's see how many actually come. Dude, you're going to get hurt. They're not smart. They're just not smart. Yeah. Yeah, see, I still can't send the knights. Oh, look at all the gold they're storing. Oh, that's, I should store all this gold because I'm going to need it. Here you go, dude. Take a bag of gold. Take a bag of gold. Here, take it. Take it. There, take all that gold. Because these guys have a ton more. have gold on the other side. Oh, these guys just picked it all up. All right, so I'll take the gold. I'll take the gold. That's fine. I just gave at least half a bag, if not more. All right, so now let's gonna let's see. Oh, hey, dude, there you go. So let's see what's left over here. You know, maybe if the archers were shooting. So here's what happens. The greed hits the builder and steals their hammer. If the archers kept shooting, no, so there's a bunch of hammers just lying here, isn't there? All right, you're going to be a builder. You're going to start pushing. And here's my other guys. Here you go. Come get your hammers. Yeah, so what happened is the archers shot the greed as they were coming back with the hammers. And so now the hammers are lying here just waiting to be picked up. Where are you going? Come on back. Help push the ship. All right. This is fascinating. Oh. 
So there's another builder coming to push. So let's play this out here. If the same thing happens again, those guys should be able to go on autopilot. Worst thing that happens is I lose my builders and I just send more builders, but they should be able to take the ship all the way to the dock. I mean, they have a rough night, sure. They push through the portal, they destroy the portal. I need to shore up the defenses on this other side though, I think. Here, let me deposit some more gold. Because there's gonna be plenty of gold waiting for me over on the other side. I am gonna need to get more builders, I think. That's the, my one concern here. So let's just keep recruiting. I mean, you guys should have made tons of gold for me over here. Right? It's another Blood Moon already? Alright, but the Blood Moon should be coming from this side. If it's not, I'm really in trouble over on the other side. Yeah, it is coming from the other side. Oh, boy. Alright, let's see what happens. We're learning as we go. This might become my new strategy all the time with this game. Just... Just send the ship, regardless of the portals. Let the archers in the ship actually destroy the portal without... without expending your knights. So that builder is still there, which means he wasn't needed. I have not seen any greed on the Blood Moon coming. All right, let's... Let's see. There's a builder running away. Interesting. What could that mean? If he's running back that way, that would mean there's an extra builder that isn't needed, right? Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. That's the beauty of it. We're just going to discover it together. You know what I should do? I should build this portal for fast travel because I'm doing a lot of moving. All right, the ship is still moving. I don't know who's pushing it. I've got at least two builders here. Oh my god, this is working. Alright, so how many more portals do I have to destroy? I know I've got one right here. And then, and then do I get to the dock? Yeah, I only have one more portal. This is going to work. This is totally going to work. We found a hack. We found a hack in the game. Who knew? All right. This is going to be a fine way to end this, uh, this session. As soon as we make it to the dock. Now, my only concern is if we get a retaliation, we're going to get a retaliation on the, on the west side of the island here. And it's going to be ugly. And I have a short wall over there. So, oh, where's my builders? I need you guys to, here we go. So I'm, I'm going to swing over there real fast with the fast travel portal. And I'm going to uh, shore up that wall. And then I'll come back. And uh, and we should have the ship at the, at the dock by then. Let's see. Come on, gentlemen. Now this is the fast travel portal. Remember, as soon as you destroy an evil portal, you can fast travel with these things. Which is very handy when you've got a slow horse and a lot of ground to cover. So we're going to come over here and we should have our builders right here that man our trebuchet. Where are they? Oh, I may have lost them because they had to go. Ooh, that's a problem. Uh oh. Although we just had a blood moon last night, so I shouldn't get an attack tonight. So I should be able to have some breathing room. And I can get some more builders going. Let's go, guys. We need some builders. Let's go. Deposit more gold here. No, that's it. That's fine. These guys are full of gold. Fill me up. Full of gold. Indeed. 
So let's see what's happened over here. My builders are heading over. Hopefully they built the wall in time. But I, again, I don't think I'm going to get an attack tonight because we just had a, a blood moon. So we, when we have a full moon like that, we get a respite, right? We sure do. So he's building my higher wall here. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right. Good, good, good. So now I just got to travel all the way over to the other side. Now, um, I'm guessing that by now, the ship is almost at the portal. Let's see. Oh, these guys. Oh, I think I recruited them. That's not, those aren't uh, builders who have lost their hammers. Let's replenish the archer god because that's where I'm getting my money right now and my effective defenses. And uh, that might be a builder who lost his hammer. Let's see. I can't remember how many people I recruited over here. Let's use this. Let's see how far we've come. Ah, there we go. We are. We're attacking. Where are my builders? Did they run away? Yes, we've got more builders coming. Oh, there we go. We, all right. That sound that you just heard was the destruction of the last portal. So now, oh, come on. Oh, I forgot. These things take time to refresh. Oh, come on. Fast travel portal. Refresh, 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 refresh. Ah. Ah. Come on, dude. How long does it take to refresh? All right. I better go look at the carnage. No, I'm, I'm going to be patient. Refresh. I'm gonna be patient. By the time I actually run across the island, this will have replenished. There we go. So patience pays off. Let's see how bad it is over here. We're getting attacked as a retaliation for killing the portal. And oh, it's not good. The gen oh, it's actually pretty good. Good thing I built that high wall. All right, so we had a giant come at us. But uh, the trebuchet and the troops that we had here was enough. So now, dang, we hacked the game. Well, we discovered what happens when you send the ship without destroying the portals. And that is you, uh, you get a shortcut. So I didn't have to send the knights one at a time to go and destroy those portals. I just... Uh, just sent the ship. And eventually, they destroyed the portals without risking my knights. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to recruit one more knight over on this side. So I can send a full complement of three brigades, or platoons, squads, to the ship. Oh, we've got a blood moon. Does that mean we've got another attack coming tonight? There's plenty of recruits right there. Did I lose people? I can't tell. Let's see. Um, whenever the... Oh, here they come. All right. It's not a... Uh, I don't think it's an official blood moon. Trebuchet is very effective. With the boulders. Oh, it's a pretty good... It's a pretty good attack. As you've noticed, I didn't spend the eight coins to um, reinforce the walls with that the the wall shrine, you know, the builder shrine. Um, I don't I don't find that to be necessarily worth it, at least at this level of the game. Later on, as things get even more intense and the attacks are really really relentless, 
a maybe, but uh, as of now, I don't see the need. All right, so now I've got three full uh, brigades, but I am not getting the option to send the knights yet, which I guess means the ship is not at the dock yet. See, right here, um, this, th th those coins, those circles right there allow me to build this wall up higher. And that four circles, that allows me to hire a, a, a farmer, right? It, it, it buys me a scythe. But I should have an option in between here, another four, that would send the knights to go sit on the ship. And I'm not getting that option, so I... I don't want to waste all my time going to the end of the island just to see that the ship is close. It should be there by now, though. So I wonder what's going on. Why can't I send my knights? Should I go look? Let's go look. All right, let's go look. I'm too curious. Remember when I said patience pays off? Well, I'm now impatient. So let's get over to the portal. And let's see. Eat a little grass here. Gotta get a little grazing, a little grazing in. Let's see if the ship has made it. It sure has. It's oh. Wait, is that? No, no, no. That Oh, let's do that, though. All right, so this is going to allow me to just bounce back and forth from fast travel. That will allow me to launch the ship, and I want to take those knights with me. So. this. Um, let me explain what this portal is. So before I was using the fast travel. Oh, I, I got to. There's no builders here for me. I was using the fast travel. You basically put a coin in and then you can sort of span left or right to see how far you want to go. Now that, that little portal option that it gave me to build right on the dock, that is going to be an immediate transport from one fast travel portal to the other. So whenever I go into this fast travel, after that thing's built, when I put coins in this fast travel portal, I will immediately find, end up over on the dock over there. I like the snap. I'm a good snapper. Um, and likewise, when I end up on the dock there, here come my builders. They're going to go build that portal for me. And uh, I'm going to be able to use this because I'm going to want to get out there fast once I send my knights. And keep replenishing that god. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm timing it so that we're, we just barely have a little bit of that second flame lit on the on the archery god, archery temple shrine thing, and uh, it only costs one day's worth of coins, four coins, and you automatically get basically two days out of it. So. Oh, but see, I'm not getting the option to send the knights. So there is there is definitely some quirk going on here. Because I should be able to send the knights to the ship. And I'm not. Here, I want to show you what it would look like, because over on this side, I should have the option to send the knights to the uh, to the portal to destroy the portal. Oh, just overflowing with gold here. See right there. See the little four four coins over the flag there. You know now. The, oh God! You know what it is. I know what it is. Hang on, hang on. I think I get it. I think I get it. Again, I don't. I don't remember all of the nuances of of New Lands versus um, the other iterations of Kingdom. And I believe what it is is I need to expand this wall to get that flag. I'm going to do that. I'm going to expand right here. I just hired some builders. So it should be easy. Yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that's what I got to do. That was elegant, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I need to expand this. 
this wall needs to be expanded out from the base of the kingdom, the center of the kingdom, and then I'll be able to send the knights. Oh gosh, I wonder if I was, I wonder if I was able to do that earlier, and I just. Well, we'll have to try that on the next time. See, now I've got that flag. Ah, uh, all right. So I, I, I should make this into stone in case I have to return to this island for any reason. You want to make sure the defenses are set up. Not that actually, see, I don't really need to do this because there's nothing that can attack me on this side. I've already destroyed the portals on this side. In fact, now I can build farms if I want. I don't have to worry about building a wall outside it. But uh, that's all right. All right, let's go ahead and send the knights to the ship. Because they have to walk all day to get there. There they go. We've got our stone wall. And we're set. Go ahead and fill me up here, banker. Okay, stop walking, dude. There you go. Fill me up. Hello. Would you only fill me up if I'm empty? That's annoying. So it's like a it's like a playthrough in that I know how to play this game and I'm pretty good at it, but at the same time, there's some things that I'm very lame at because I don't remember. So again, just as an explanation, I spent so much time playing the the newer release of this game called Kingdom Two Crowns that there are certain habits that the characters do that I'm just I'm expecting them to do in this older version and they don't. For instance, the banker. In the, uh, in the newer version of the game, the banker pays you anytime you stand next to him and he fills up your bag. Apparently not in New Lands. I can't remember what it takes to get the banker to, to feed you, to fill you up. That's all right. I've got a full bag. And I sent my knights. They're marching over to the ship. Let's get out of here. And ah, look at that. We're right under an hour. So we will call it a night when we arrive at Island Number four. Craziness. And remember, I sent the builders out there to build that um, fast travel portal at the dock. So all I've got to do is that and see, I'm already at the dock. See how that works? Beautiful. Here come my knights right on schedule. They've been marching through the night. One last deer kill there from my archers. I've got a full ship of three knights and their uh, archers. I've got four additional archers. I've got my three builders. I am good to go and go we will. There we go, achievement unlocked. I guess means that you've left island three. So we will now move on to island number Four. There you go. And that's where we will leave off. Once we land on Island Four, we will call it a day. All right, guys. We will do exactly that. We're going to call it a day. Oh, hey, thanks, man. Um, we'll call it a day. And we will... Uh... Here we go. <laughs> we'll call it a day, and we'll uh, see you again when we pick up on Island Four. Uh, now that we've learned what happens when you send the ship without killing the portals. And uh, and we're going to exploit that hack in our next island. We should be able to plow through even faster. All right. Uh, again, uh, add in the comments any other games you want me to play, because I do like playing games. And even if it's a new game I've never played, we'll learn it together. Obviously, I, I enjoy that too. Take care.